You can't have a great two-week event without a grand finale. So on June 15th, which is a Saturday, we will be doing everything we can to make it the biggest finale for 375 that we could possibly imagine. So Sarah Brucalacchio is here to talk to me about it. Run me through that very long day. Well, Katie, <laughs> my message is we, people, we're going to all have to pace ourselves <laughs> because this is going to be a day where you're going to want to be there from you know morning till night. And it starts with Friends and Family Day at 8 o'clock. That ends at 3. Then we have our dog parade mm -hmm. um, over at the Wood End Elementary, and that should be over at 4. Then people have a little break. They come back to the Birch Meadow area. We should have at least eight food trucks preparing all sorts of scrumptious um, offerings for, uh, what do we have, what do we say, salty and savory yeah, options? There's, yeah, there's some dinner trucks, some dessert trucks, yeah, yeah all kinds of things. Should, should cover the bases, or people can bring their own picnics, put mm -hmm. a blanket down and set up, because you're gonna wanna set up, because we have entertainment. And we'll be having the uh, Reading Community Concert Band. Yes. And we will have the North Shoreman Barbershop style um, uh, chorus that'll be joining us. And uh, there's a former Re resident of Reading who sings in that chorus that Great. used to sing with Reading Community Singers. Mm -hmm. um, and then the culmination of it all <laughs> will be fireworks like we've never before seen. Yes. And you really, the, the entire day, I think people are going to really want to try to set that day aside as a very special day for our town, for with our friends, our families, you know bring everybody. Yeah. I've also heard uh, rumors of a balloon, a hot air balloon. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you for reminding <laughs> yeah. me. Yes. Remax is going to be sponsoring tethered balloon rides starting at 6. I believe it's 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that before at another festival and people really enjoy it. Yeah. It's quite something. It'll be a different view of the Birch Meadow area and yes. more of Reading if it's a if it's a Probably day, can hopefully. see Lake Quanapawit at least. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, um, and we I've seen some aerial photos of Reading before, so you know if we could get the the historical aerial photo next to the contemporary, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's too. a great idea. Yeah, um, yeah so this is going to be a great event. We've got uh, Friends and Family Day, which will which has a huge following already. They think it's going to be one of their mm -hmm. biggest. Uh, biggest events yet mm -hmm. um, and of course we'll be there um, with our merchandise and, and everything for Reading 375 as well. I think it's just a, a wonderful you know for, for everyone for mm -hmm. all age groups um, pretty much everything is there's no cost mm -hmm. except for the food yeah yeah <laughs> and the balloon ride and the balloon ride, but yeah. you know it's just gonna be a wonderful day for for our town and yeah so definitely set aside your calendars for June 15th because it is going to be quite the grand finale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to talk to me about it, yes. Sarah. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, though. I think it'll be a little bittersweet for those of us that have worked on this event for so long to actually get to the end. I can't even see past it. I can't <laughs> see past it yet. But. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.